as differentiated network requirements emerge, network slicing is gradually gaining wider public attention. The technology can provide multiple logical networks on the same shared network infrastructure, accommodating different services, industries, or users. To implement network slicing, FlexE and channelized sub-interface technologies need to be used at the physical link layer. But how do you configure FlexE interfaces? Let's imagine a network consisting of two devices by way of explanation. Imagine that four types of services need to be carried on device A and device B. To ensure the SLA of each service, configure FlexE interfaces between the devices and set bandwidth values to 4 gigabits per second, 15 gigabits per second, 20 gigabits per second, and 30 gigabits per second. So if the rate of a single interface is 50 gigabits per second, each device requires two interfaces to carry the four types of services. Before configuration, however, there are a number of preparations that need to be made. First, ensure that the standard interface interconnection is normal. For example, check that the boards successfully register and that the optical module interconnection environment is normal. Next, Prepare the interface-specific basic hardware license and FlexE license for the corresponding boards. Now query the interfaces that support FlexE capabilities on the devices. Here, we'll use two commands. In the command output, view the interfaces that support FlexE switching. If multiple physical interfaces need to be bound together, Run the second command to check which interfaces can be bound to the same FlexE group. In this example, GE1 slash 1 slash 1 and GE1 slash 1 slash 2 are used on device A, and GE1 slash 0 slash 1 and GE1 slash 0 slash 2 on device B to carry services. After these preparations are complete, configuration can begin. Look at the configuration roadmap. First, activate licenses. Then switch the interfaces to the Flex E mode. Now configure Phi numbers and Flex E groups for the interfaces. Then configure the sub time slot granularity of a Flex E subcard. And set the configuration mode of Flex E client bandwidth. Finally, configure client IDs and bandwidth values. Now it's time for specific configuration. First, activate licenses. Activate license files, and then activate the interface-specific basic hardware license and Flex E license. Different commands are used to activate the Flex E license for different products. For example, the active port Flex E command is used for an NE40E while the active port slicing command is used for a NetEngine 8000X. Simply select the corresponding command based on the device model. Next, switch interfaces to the Flex E mode. The bandwidth of a common interface is fixed. To flexibly customize the interface bandwidth, switch its working mode from standard Ethernet to Flex E. After the switch has been made, the interface is no longer a common physical interface. Now, it's a Flex E physical interface instead. Note that the name of Flex E physical interface starts with Flex E interface rate, and its number is the same as the number of the original physical interface. After switching interfaces to Flex E physical interfaces, flexibly customize them. Specifically, Add one or more physical interfaces to a FlexE group and map the interfaces to multiple FlexE logical interfaces, also called FlexE clients, with customizable bandwidth through time slot scheduling. First, specify Phi numbers for the physical interfaces to be added to a FlexE group. The numbers are used to identify the physical interfaces. While each physical interface added to a FlexE group must be configured with a Phi number, 
the phi numbers of the interconnected interfaces at both ends must be the same. In addition, the flex E physical interfaces added to the same flex E group must have different phi numbers. Now it's time to configure flex E groups. Set group IDs to differentiate flex E groups and bind physical interfaces to the groups. The same group ID must also be configured for the flex E groups to which the interconnected flex E physical interfaces at both ends are added. For example, add both flex E 50G 1 slash 1 slash 1 and flex E 50G 1 slash 0 slash 1 to group 2345. After adding all physical interfaces to a flex E group, configure flex E clients for flex E physical interfaces and set bandwidth for each client. Before configuring clients and bandwidth, select the sub time slot granularity of a flex E subcard and the configuration mode of flex E client bandwidth as required. The sub time slot granularity of a flex E subcard affects the bandwidth that can be configured for a flex E client. For example, if the bandwidth to be configured is 4 gigabits per second, 15 gigabits per second, 20 gigabits per second, or 30 gigabits per second, set the sub time slot granularity to 1 gigabits per second. Otherwise, the 4 gigabits per second bandwidth cannot be allocated. The configuration mode of Flexi client bandwidth can be time slot binding or bandwidth. In time slot binding mode, a time slot number is directly specified for a Flex E client to form a corresponding bandwidth. In bandwidth mode, a specific bandwidth value is directly specified for a Flex E client, and a time slot number is automatically allocated by a device. Bandwidth mode is recommended because it's more flexible and convenient. It's the default mode because of this. Now configure Flex E clients. First, Create Flexi clients. Specify the Flexi group that provides bandwidth for them. Specify Flexi logical interface numbers and set bandwidth values. In addition, configure client IDs for the clients so that the devices at both ends can identify them. To ensure that the Flexi clients on the devices at both ends can communicate, configure the same ID and bandwidth value for them. After configuration is complete, Corresponding Flex E logical interfaces are generated. The first two digits of each interface number are the same as those of the corresponding Flex E physical interface. The third digit is the configured interface ID. After configuration is complete, run the command to check that the Flex E physical and logical interfaces are up and obtain the bandwidth values of the logical interfaces. In addition, Run the display LLDP neighbor brief command to query LLDP neighbor information. View the neighbor relationship with the remote device on the local device. Configuration and verification of Flexi interfaces are now complete. To summarize key configuration points, configure physical interfaces, switch the common physical interfaces into Flex E physical interfaces, Add the Flex E physical interfaces to Flex E groups. Configure Flex E clients and corresponding bandwidth values. And map the Flex E physical interfaces to Flex E logical interfaces. Thank you for watching.